Hi Aquarius, it's Pam and Light Tarot coming at you and this is behind the scenes and all about your person guys. Now, just keep in mind though Aquarius and the Cross Watcher, these could be both of your energies. Okay, they could be mixed in here, some could be yours, some could be your, your person's Aquarius, okay? And let's get into the reading. This is supposed to be their reading, but uh, you know, these energies are going back and forth. And uh, looking at your reading here, Aquarius and the Cross Watcher, or the Cross Watcher's, your person's reading, and I feel like your person is really worried here about, you know, ending things and um, about heartbreak, about betrayal. They are really uh, feeling it here in their hopes and fears, yeah. They could be doing this to you, though, because uh, these energies can go, you know, they could go back and forth. Like I said, from the Lenormand is the mice, right? And the mice is all about, you know, somebody causing, like, gradual destruction, right? They are just, they keep doing one thing after another. It could be something small, but they're all adding up here, and they're causing a great destruction here. The moon card is here. There could be a water sign here because the Queen of Cups is here. The knight is here, I believe, and also the page. So, I um, haven't seen the king pop up yet, but, you know, he, he can come if he wants, I guess. <laughs> the, the moon is here, and the moon in the Lenormand is not about deception. It is, or fear, it is about intuition and creativity. Yes, it is, and love and romance. Wow, okay. The anchor is showing up with the... Store card, and the anchor is all about creating, a, you know, firm foundations for yourself. Something that can maybe last, right? Go the distance. Something that is secure, right? It is the the anchor. Yeah, I, don't, I always want to call it an anvil. I'm not really sure why. And the stork is here. This is about new beginnings. Yeah, it is about new opportunities and new beginnings. So let's get into the reading. And it is looking like there is uh, something good for somebody and maybe something not so good for somebody else. That could possibly be the case. We're going to crack the case entirely, though, in the tell-all tell over on Vimeo, okay? For now, guys, uh, if you get a message, please give a thumbs up. Your person's current energy is the Knight of Wands, Aquarius. And we see the Queen, or we see the King of Wands in the reading, and I feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign. And I also, looking at your past readings, uh, not looking at them, but kind of remembering that I feel like you have been kind of dealing with a third party off and on for a while, for some of you guys, all right? Not for the ones that are, you know, happily married and, you know, living in, uh, living in Pleasantville Heights, okay? Um, right on to you if that's, you know, if that's what you have going on for yourself. But this reading is about somebody who is uh, kind of, you know, in a challenging situation, all right, guys? So, yeah, just to kind of give you a heads up here. And I feel like your person, uh, they are unhappy here, Four of Cups, right? Yeah. Um, they're unhappy. They could be feeling rejected here, maybe because somebody took a leap of faith with somebody else, the Fool card. Because in their crossing energy is the Three of Wands, right? Coming up right away. Um, three of Swords down here, right? So I feel like there could have been a third party here. There still could currently be a third party, and that could, that could, this Mice card could be that, you know, about that, right? Now... The Nine of Cups is here, the Knight, right? Which I said, I thought there could be a water sign for some of you. The Six of Wands is here too. So the challenge for your person or the crossing energy is that either somebody else is in a third party that they are giving their cup to and having victory, right? Your person could want to manifest something with you and they could feel rejected for some of you, all right? And somebody, for some, somebody is turning their back here. Yeah, turning their back here with the Three of Wands, all right? Now, in the root here is the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Five of Swords. And this is what I mean about third-party energy, right? Five of Swords is third-party energy uh, in many readings. And somebody, you know, is somebody has this Ace of Pentacles with the Magician. There could be a player here, right? Could be an Aries, maybe. But somebody is having like a new start, or they are manifesting something great ace of pentacles manifesting this new uh new opportunity in love like a stable one and it could be you know bringing loss and despair to the other person in the recent past we see the chariot card so the queen and the knight and the page of cups are here so we could there could be a water sign here i feel like there's a, a few players in this reading and i even said that in the last reading excuse me i feel like there is there could even be an earth sign here possibly because the king of pentacles is here 
and so is uh, thought I saw the hermit here. Yeah, he is, and he's shown up right here in the recent past. So, Kurt, you know, in the recent past, somebody had their nine of cups with the cherry on top. Yeah, they did. This woman is completely enamored, and she is so. The look on her face is so silly, right? Like she, you know, like wow. Like the only, you know, I, I have my. I have everything I wanted with regards to love, but she's looking, you know, it's like a, kind of like an 18-year-old, like, oh, you know, <laughs> overly silly about it, but hey, you know, that's, I can understand that feeling, right? Um, being completely infatuated, enamored, and uh, kind of realizing your dream in love, and everybody really wants to do that, right? There are plenty of songs that talk about that. In the past, somebody had victory. Yeah, somebody had victory with somebody. Could have been a water sign or a Virgo, but it has left somebody else jaded and guarded with the Nine of Wands. And it could have hurt somebody. Because somebody, the Nine of Wands can be the wounded warrior. Yeah, he's not sporting his, uh, sporting his bandage here. Um, he's not, okay. But he's definitely holding his wand here. And he's looking real suspicious here. Like, what's going to happen around the corner, right? Could be a Virgo here. What is on your mind, or your person's mind, rather, uh, Aquarius, Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, Temperance, and the King of Pentacles. They could be one of these people. They could be the Sag. I feel like there is a Sag. We have the King of Wands here. There could be, right? But there doesn't have to be, because there could be an Aries here, and there could be, there could be, because we see the Magician in the reading, and the Fool. But uh, there's so many players in this reading that you can't really tell. I'm, I'm not kidding, right? And these mice that are whittling away, this could be saying that there's too many people kind of ruining a union, right? Five of, like the five of wands, too many people involved in a situation for things to work out, right? And the five of wands is here in the near future. So what is on their mind here is uh, they could be trying to defend themselves and not know how to do it. Eight of swords, right? Feeling victimized. Uh, temperance and the king of pentacles. They could be trying to ground themselves like, you know, trying to gain balance for themselves, right? Temperance, right? Uh, over an earth sign, king of pentacles, yeah. But this could be a Sag here as well. And in the near future is the nine of pentacles. Yeah. And I feel like somebody's trying to figure out here, high priestess, they are trying to use their intuition here. The moon card is here all about intuition, right? From the Lenormand. Uh, yeah. If they're trying to use your intuition here, high priestess, there could be a Piscean or a Cancerian here in the mix, or a Scorpio, rather. But the Nine of Pentacles is here, and this is in the near future with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. This is you, most likely, Aquarius, and I feel like your person here is, you know, struggling here over becoming single here. I feel like they are. Or, this could be you, maybe, uh, struggling, but I'm seeing it kind of the other way. And I feel like this is about a third party. Five of Wands, uh, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Yeah, you know, some really harsh cards, right? Yeah, they are, all right? We need to kind of uh, strike them from the tarot. What do you think, Aquarius? <laughs> now, over here in the Cross Watcher, how they are seeing themselves as the King of Wands. So, sit right, there could be definitely be a fire sign here. The first card for them was the Knight of Wands. And we know the Knight of Wands can be Aries, Leo, or Sag. And the King, the king is showing up right here in, uh, yeah, in how they are seeing themselves. Two of Pentacles, the World card, and the Ten of Wands. For me, they're seeing themselves as wanting to drop a burden here and have an, end something and have a new beginning. And this burden here could be either to move away from a third party, it could be moving toward one. I'm looking at it as moving away from one, or moving away from some, from juggling here. But they could feel juggled by you, Aquarius, and they could be wanting to end this and just drop the burden. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay, that is clear. This is how they see, they're seeing themselves as doing that. The Death card is in the reverse with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. And this is showing up... Uh, in the environment for them. So for them, there is no ending here. Something needs to end, possibly, with a water sign. Yeah, that somebody has opened the love here. They could need to end it with a water sign themselves. This is, you know, their reading and yours as well, Aquarius, right? Your person, your person's reading, your energy as well. But they could, uh, there's, there could be a need here to end something with a water sign. There could be, right? Yeah, okay. 
Now, in their hopes and fears, they're super worried about getting screwed over here. Yeah, they are. All right. Here, fit two of swords. It could be maybe a, a, a Taurian here, a Taurus, right? We see the King of Pentacles here. Now the Hierophant is showing up. It could be everybody. It could be everybody from the block, all right, Aquarius, because somebody is, I feel like somebody's a player here, or somebody somebody wanted two people. That's clear, right? Now the Hierophant, the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Wow, there's a lot of sword, harsh energy in their hopes and fears. They're worried they're going to get screwed over, and they're going to, in the end, they're going to be betrayed here, and they're, they could be, or this could have already happened, yeah, the betrayal and the heartbreak, and they maybe they don't know what to do about it, two of swords, right? And that is their hopes and fears. We're going to go over to Vimeo Aquarius and see the potential outcome. We're also going to see the underlying issues here, how they feel about you, the challenges between you guys, and maybe how to navigate that what they're hiding, and what they are fearing on Vimeo, okay, guys? And all the affordables are super extended, uh, super, all the extendeds are super affordable. <laughs> and the link is below, guys. Thank you so much. The best way, however, is always to get your own reading, okay, guys? Thank you very much.